Lack of job creation, poverty and corruption may be the factors for many to seek better opportunities in foreign countries, however in an illegal way. This may be the case of these Cameroonians who were apprehended in Lagos, having stayed beyond the 90 days granted by Nigeria to some countries, hence the press briefing. The Lagos State Command of the Nigerian Immigration Service apprehended 36 Cameroonian nationals who are irregular migrants on the 3rd of October 2022. The tip-off about these migrants who reside in the Beji Lake resulted from the community's collaboration with security agencies. The command, having concluded its preliminary investigation to ascertain their status, has been able to substantiate it is suspicion that they are victims of trafficking in persons. The command has also been able to ascertain that they came into the country through a common border, cross river state, in separate batches. While assuring Lagos residents of continuous monitoring of foreigners in the state, the controller, Nigerian Immigration Service, Lagos Command, Mani Bagiwa, emphasized the threat illegal migration portends on the society. Many dangers and setbacks to a nation when people migrate into that country irregularly or illegally. The economic, as you said, there is economic sabotage. The security, we don't know who comes and who goes out. There is tendency for smuggling of arms, whatever. So there is a lot of dangers uh, when it comes to illegal migration. Nigeria and any other country in the world encourages people to migrate, but legally, to migrate regularly. Bagiwa also mentioned the repatriation process of the Cameroonians. Yes, we are, we are taking them straight to the border they came through with. We'll hand them over to, to the immigration officers at our border. We'll hand them over to, to the Cameroonian counterparts over there. The command said it will continue to discharge its duties and responsibilities within the confines of the law. Maubi Jasu, LTV News.